Hello people, it's Cole. Today we'll be flipping through the JCPenney catalog. This catalog is from fall, winter 2001. It is a department store catalog, very big, and covers everything and anything you could possibly need from JCPenney. We will focus on fashion today. It's a fashion day. So we'll take a look at everything they have to offer. It's all inside, as the catalog says. Formal wear, work wear, regular casual day wear, pajamas, shoes, accessories, they have it all. I'm here for you every week with a vintage magazine flip through. So stay right here with me and let's get started. Okay, so on the cover, well, it's a very beautiful, big beauty shot close up of our cover lady, Miss JC Penny 2001, <laughs> with her blonde, very sort of mm, yellowy, honey colored blonde, wavy hair. She's very tan, she's very fresh looking, I think. She looks really pretty. I really like this super shiny, clean lip color and clean, bright makeup. She's a, she's a pretty lady. <laughs> she has a black ribbed turtleneck on and a kind of purple, maroon purple, dark burgundy colored velvet jacket. And that's it, it's very simple. We have a tan, a toffee tan background and that's also the color of the jc penny block down here and that's definitely sort of the overall color theme of the catalog is this toffee tan delicious and on the side more of that toffee tan we have some nice identifying text right here jc penny fall winter big book 2001 Phone number, website, jcpenny.com. Order through February 26, 2002. All right. Oh, and there's a little ad, basically, here for the, the JCPenney card. Got to have that. All right. Let's get started. Oh, boy. All right. We're starting off strong with washable suede. There's the jacket. I was struggling to describe the color of this jacket. What is, what do they call it? Raisin. That is exactly what that color is. It's raisin. <laughs> raisin washable suede. They know their colors. We get a zoom out shot of our cover lady. She was secretly wearing jeans that whole time. And there's her blazer it's quite long it's a rather long kind of boxy jacket um, with color matched plastic buttons she's sitting on a suitcase a brown leather suitcase so she's maybe she's on the go maybe she just likes to collect fine leather goods speaking of fine leather goods on this side skirt or pants in washable suede the skirt is killer i love a long skirt with like a tall boot that disappears up in the bottom of that that's a good look and this was an era where people were definitely pulling that look so i'm into this some tall black leather boots and then the same type of boot they have a real square toe same type of boot in a tan color um, with a big clonk black chunk heel and some tan suede pants okay stretch cords Corduroy pants, it's more very earthy, very, it's a very fall autumnal color scheme, which I know it's fall winter, so maybe we'll see some more winter theming later on. Like maybe we're moving sequentially through the year of 2001, but we're doing big fall. There's our stretchy cords. There's a big kind of zoomed in argyle pattern, short sleeve, mock neck sweater intarsia sweater is what it's called which oh she's sitting on a suitcase too it, it, this sweater is called intarsia sweater which is a funny name i guess it's kind of like do you know what intarsia is dj's grandpa did intarsia so, <laughs> so i know about intarsia from that it's like a woodworking technique i guess maybe that's because it's sort of like a patchwork kind of idea of like color blocking in, in a way maybe that's where they're getting that name from it's a little weird 
chunky sweaters. And that feels very 2001 to me. This grown out pixie cut with this chunky turtleneck sweater. Mm hmm. Leather jackets, more turtlenecks, lots of turtlenecks, and short sleeve ones too. I do like a short sleeve or like a sleeveless turtleneck sweater. Uh, that's cute. Some big professional pants, <laughs> stretch pants. That sounds so unflattering when you put it like that. Bias plaids, bias cut plaid skirts, and then more of these short sleeve little sweater numbers with a long droopy cowl neck. This one has a big oversized cowl neck. It's sleeveless in a plum color. And then over here too, I, I kind of like that we're focusing so much on showing like full done up, you know, complete model looks with the color variations of the sweater. So it's not always just a stack of the different colors. Like we can really get into them and see them in their full glory. I appreciate that. It's a big, big catalog. So we have space to do that exploration. Faux suede. A stripy variegated, look at that. This is a very 70s feel right here. Sweater, cowl neck, faux suede. She really is like vanishing into the void <laughs> with this faux suede jacket and pants combo. It's exactly the toffee tan color. Hmm. And another long skirt with that square toe squared off boot sticking out of it. Cable knit sweaters. Short sleeve sweaters are just like eating up this catalog, really. Short sleeve and sleeveless. This one has a little ribbon, ribbon tie. Well, it's not a ribbon. A knit tie belt that's built into it. More leather. Leather, leather blazers with more bias cut plaid skirts. A lot of uh, repeat, <laughs> repeat offenders here. Chain belt, gold jewelry. She's very cute. I like this. I like this model. Her hair is super long. You don't usually see like really, really long straight hair like that in a catalog like this. Yeah, look at that. Sweater coat, dusters. Is it? Is it known that this is a duster? Like, do, do people know that, is that like a, a term that everybody uses? I call this a duster. I don't know where I got that name from. It's a long sweater coat. It's a duster. All these leather pants, especially in this fit, this kind of boxy, looser fit is very like on trend for right now. Curious. 20 year trend cycle. Well, it's a little, not quite 20 years. Close enough, 20 year trend cycle makes sense. Oh, do peep these two, uh, two little feet <laughs> popping out <laughs> and over here with some fishnet hose. They show you that because you can connect the leather boot with the leather skirt with that fishnet hose for a daring look in the office. They did put this, uh, these models to work. We're getting like a lot of the same models over and over again. Uh, which I like that because I feel like I get to know them better. And I also like that because I'm thinking of them together at the photo shoot as girlfriends hanging out, doing all the looks together in this small group. It's nice. The camaraderie is nice. Some pretty snoozy, <laughs> boring, uh, just long sleeve, simple shorts. It's a lot of minimalism, real minimal looks here, I think. Um, it's more about the texture, I feel, than it is about like an interesting silhouette or embellishment or anything. More about the texture and the color. Yeah, that's very minimalist and very good. I like this. I like this orange short sleeve turtleneck sweater with the long khaki skirt and the black boots and like the half up, half down hair. That's a winning look to me. 
Oh, when it comes in a denim too. Denim divas. Mmm. Mm-hmm. This feels like the thrift store. <laughs> this feels like what the thrift store is full of is this zip cardigan for now, obviously. For tw for the, the 2020s. It's 90% this cardigan and then 10% everything else. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> With this edge like blanket stitch and the little speckly yarn and that yeah that silver metal rectangle silver pole this is giving big 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 thrift store oh but here we get to see the other colorways for that sweater oatmeal heather olive wine chambray and onyx onyx is a little interesting with the color speckle in that yarn i would like to see that on a body dead i'm done right JC Penney's doing denim right. Talls, Mrs. Women's, we got you covered. We get a little peekaboo of some other JC Penney catalogs on rotation in the JC Penney um, portfolio. So we have what is it? The text is very small. I think this says petites. Just for me, talls for tall gals, and plus. So they have whole separate offshoots that are just catered to these other body types. Here we go. There's the the gals in all of their diversity. <laughs> oh my god, Delta Burke. <laughs> Whoa! Delta Blues. We're doing denim sets a denim jacket and a denim pant color match to go together and there's delta working it out all these shoes this is really like a time of black shiny clunky chunky big heel shoes not a lot of not a lot of fun with these shoes. They're very consistent in their design, which is fun in its own way. It's like it is a dramatic silhouette just by itself. But like, where's the color? That layered shag hairstyle this is very martha martha stewart on the cover of the <laughs> from the, from 1999 from my video from a couple weeks ago this is like a martha get up <laughs> i am into this sweater personally i know it's a woman's sweater but i gotta say i like this sweater i like when a sweater has like a raglan sleeve because that way if the shoulder doesn't quite hit right like if it's too from what happens to me is usually the shoulder is like too in, it's it's too small um, in order for the sweater body to not be so big on me. A raglan sleeve resolves that problem. We don't have to worry about the shoulder seam lining up. It's smart design for a knit specifically. So I like these. Ugh. Pajama time. They're not pajamas, but they look like pajamas or like scrubs, like nurse scrubs, you know? Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa! Oh wow. They really put this Paige Davis flip hair girl in this like tourist costume, American tourist costume. <laughs> Yikes, those Bermuda shorts and that polo. I have something else. Oh my god. Wow. They really front loaded this with like the chic items, but then they show their true colors <laughs> as we get a couple of pages in. Oh my god. All right, we have elastic waist plaid pants, twill pants, for for the school teacher in your life who would also certainly love to wear these teacher vests. Knit novelty teacher vests. So we have like a sampler kind of design here with a little 
house and the little cross stitch and American flag with only four stars because it's like colonial times. Apple, yes. And then we have uh, hearts and stars. We have autumnal, autumnal scene with a little cat and some autumnal harvest items, birds, sunflowers, wheat, and spring. Spring's here. Spring's coming. Dark green. Seed packets. Uh, herbs. Dried herbs. Canning. That's what you do. That's what you're doing in these vests, I bet. Really a lot of um, just very plain, I want to say masculine in a way. Menswear inspired plain shirts and solids and like very simple patterns. Um, we're seeing that over and over again. Not a very like woman body cut, quite boxy. Or if it is a body cut, it's like a just like that kind of <laughs> scoop where it like flares at the bottom. Not my favorite cut. This is folded. Does that mean that someone earmarked whatever's on the next page? Oh, I bet they did because this was worth earmarking right here. Something we want to come back to. A shin length tan button front khaki skirt with an elastic waist and a tucked in plaid shirt with like a little embroidery designs sprinkled all over the plaid. Yes, wow. Mm hmm. Why did they give this like older woman? I interpret her to be older because of the, the hairdo. Why do they give her these, like, frumpy looks? It seems kind of... They didn't do her any favors. Oh, my God. These elastic waist jeans with the pork chop pockets. Jeez. This is really... <laughs> this is really taking a turn. She looks great here. This is the same gal from two pages back with the... <laughs> with the crazy tucked in plaid shirt. She looks like Meg Ryan in this photo with this nice, simple, speckly knit, marled tunic sweater. Much more flattering. Still got those big black shoes on with no socks. More nurse scrubs. Comfortable fleece. Very comfortable indeed. Okay. It's teen time. <laughs> Arizona Jean Company. Oh boy. Let me tell you, I was an Arizona Jean Company boy in 2001. I had several, very many Arizona Jean Company clothing items because in my hometown, Petoskey, Michigan, we had a JCPenney store location, freestanding store location in our downtown. That was where I was getting my clothes from. <laughs> that was like the store that we had. So, uh, so I have a soft spot for Miss Arizona. All right, so we're doing uh, like a baby baby rib polo tee shirt with snaps. And here's a cardigan, zip cardigan. That's a funky stripe. Those shoes, you could kill someone with those shoes. <laughs> they are so huge, heavy, clunky, like Frankenstein shoes. They're kind of cool. It's very like brats, right? Wow. Henley's corduroys cargo pants. These boots are nuts. Like, I was in school in 2001. I would have been in ninth grade. And no one was wearing these boots. They were not wearing shoes like this in my school. What the hell? Why were we not... Uh... Not going for it. It's a little bit of a missed opportunity. There's, okay, this was the fit I was trying to explain earlier. This like box, but it has like a little like sad attempt at like a, a like a fittedness and that big sleeve. I don't know. There's, this fit feels very wrong to me. I don't like that. And I don't think, I don't know if a teen girl is wearing a shirt like this, right? I don't know. That's a little teacher to me. This is very teacher too. These washed out button down tops. It's very teacher. Teacher time. Which is fine. 
I don't want to offend any teachers out there, but it's a, it's a certain look in 2001 that's not really a teen look in my mind. Wow, they really tried to... Why am I reading this so hard? I'm being such a bitch. They really tried to, like, make this dumpy, <laughs> like, coffee, raisin coffee, button-down shirt look fun by making this beautiful young girl with hoop earrings, like, dance like a monkey. It didn't work. <laughs> it still looks frumpy. Mud. Mud. Mud Company. Rhinestone flare jeans in a flat wash. Wow. No waist. Jeans over here. The, <laughs> the belt loops are not on the waist because there is no waistband. So they're down, drop down here. It's a confusing construction. I do like the flares. It's a flattering cut. I'm glad that it's back because it is a flattering cut. We're doing some midriff showing. Not allowed in my school. A cardigan with nothing underneath. Scandal. Pink backpack. A little notch cut tank top. And then you could also do a cardigan over it if you're feeling a little more conservative. Oh, she's got her midriff out too. And everyone's in these killer murder boots. I cannot wait to see those <laughs> close up later on. Uniform basics. Did you go to school with that had to have uniforms? I did in elementary school. I kind of liked it, but I'm, you know, a fucking nerd. I like, I dress like this, like on purpose on my own <laughs> volition. So I don't mind wearing preppy clothes. Doing a, a big pivot from sad uniform basics to like sexy, sexy leather crocodile accessories and silk camisoles. Delicate layers. Okay. This is it. I like this. A full flight of sage green workwear that can be like mixed and matched. I, I really like these mixy matchy <laughs> things that catalogs do. Wow. Introducing Joneswear, our catalog collection from the famous New York maker, Big City. Big City Dreams. New to our catalog, tailored separates that make a smart addition to your working wardrobe. So we have component units that are all color matched. Even this, these knits match the jacket and pants pieces. Two jackets, double-breasted and single buttons. Two sleeveless mock neck knit tops. One pair of green pants with a pressed in perma-pressed pleat down the front. And a skirt. And there you have it. The color is moss, by the way, which I think is actually more accurate than sage. This is moss, that is true. They, don't, they do know their colors. So what do you think about this? Do you love this look? <laughs> you know what it's kind of giving me a little bit? Um, there's like a kind of jade moss colored uh, skirt suit for The Sims 1, which is a great look. It's on the cover of the game. Um, that was like the best look I thought for women in that game. This looks like that. Ah, I love blanket skirts. Wool wrap skirt with a fringe bottom and it has like a buckle to close it over here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's a little dark. Um, so cute. Look at this woven detail and then the fringe with the boots coming out. That's a good look. For some reason we're transitioning to like mannequins or like a dress form with no head. All of these multicolored, different colored, they're not multicolored, solid colored but different colors of jackets with contrast or matching colored mock neck sweaters underneath. That was definitely the vibe of the, really this whole catalog is a blazer jacket, like a lapel jacket with a little mock neck solid color ribbed sweater. That's the story of 2001. 
See, there it is. <laughs> She's cute. I like this. I like tucking the sweater into this brown skirt and that the sweater has a little bit of a sparkle, like a sparkle yarn. You can see right there. Shimmery sweater. Ooh, speaking of sparkly textures, sparkly, shiny jacket. Suiting separates. And this as well, the silk blouse and this really rich jewel tone colors. That's quite beautiful. More of these mixy matchy workwear looks. This is all in burgundy. And there's more of these awful shirts. I hope I'm not offending people by saying that these things about these shirts, but you know what I mean. There's something whack about the fit of these shirts. Maybe it's because they're too short to be tucked in and there's something about that that has off proportions. I don't know. More suits, serious suits, long skirts, <laughs> dominatrix boots. Oh, this is cool. Boucle texture jacket. I like this texture, that's something different. Wow, the suit of the season. You really think so? Fly front jacket features a detachable feather pin. The pin comes with the jacket. Brown feather pin. Hidden buttons closure with top button and inseam pockets. Oh, there's no, oh, kind of like that. I do actually quite like that uh, clean closure with no visible buttons or anything. That <coughs> feather pin is really throwing me off though. I guess it's important to have fun. We keep seeing a lot of these really teeny little, like skinny, high-waisted belt tie things. Um, so that's happening. Oof. That looks like a housekeeper, like what a housekeeper would wear, you know? Um, which is fine, but I thought we were, I didn't know this was like a uniform catalog. <laughs> Whoa. Damn, that's wild. This is giving like 80s. That structured shoulder, that floppy like bow on the dress, and the peplum in the skirt, and that warm gray shoe? That is such an 80s look. Huh. That really surprises me. That scallop bottom of that. Like, Okay. <laughs> 20 year trend cycles, what was I saying? All right. I think, I, I need to, I'm so sorry. I cannot stop talking about what is wrong with the proportion of this, this type of top. I don't like the sleeves. I don't like that big boxy, like shoebox looking sleeve. That's what it is. I don't like that sleeve. Okay, I'll say it. Here, she's got it on too. That's an ugly sleeve. That's not flattering on any arm. Little black dresses, the important black dress. Okay, feminism, we're not doing little little pr precious, we're doing the important black dress. So get that straight. Whoa, mother of the bride. 
separate, formal wear separates in a color, like a, a matching fabric. Pretty fascinating to me as an idea. I kinda like that. Oh boy. Gowns. Our eight pages of gowns have all the details to make you feel beautiful. A wedding gown. They got gowns. There's more those separates. That, that interesting separates concept. She's doing it too. These girls are breaking all the rules. Probably is nice to have separates because it probably makes it a lot easier to use the facilities at the formal function that you're at. The corporate Christmas party. These are younger ladies, so this is like a prom kind of a feel, I believe. Again, hard pivot from a prom in these somber prom dresses and dark colors to actual nurse's scrubs. Before it was like implied nurse's scrubs and implied uniforms. We're doing real uniforms, uniforms and scrubs. JCPenney was so, had such a diverse portfolio of offerings. I want all of these catalogs. So here we go. Here's the nurses. Three women that are nurses and there's like a guy nurse here too. And they're all, they all have the same hair. They all have the same like grown out kind of pixie cut hair. What is that supposed to mean? He has that hair too. Is it mandatory at this hospital? Uh oh. We might be getting into some dicey territory that I might need to move, skip past. Let's see. No, this is not, this is not. <laughs> this is not racy at all. Uh-uh. Contrast color, jackets over turtlenecks, the theme of the day. I do like these contrast colors. I think these are fun, they're a lot brighter. I appreciate some breathing a little more life into them. And more leather and more teeny little belts. The little belts are back. Back to Miss Arizona Jean. Teen looks. Pastel colors. And maternity <laughs> jeans. We're really doing all kinds of pivots here. More maternity clothes. More of those awful shirts. This is kind of cute. It's a little it's a little cute. It's cute to it's cute to wear a mini skirt when you're really pregnant. That's I like that. <laughs> okay. The brassiers. Is this where I need to do a, a jump? Yeah. Let's jump ahead a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Okay. It's it's fine. I just you know trying to keep things trying to keep things simple for myself okay let me jump to the shoes yes here we go this is what we, this is what everybody wants to see and this is certainly what i want to see the accessory for fall the dominatrix boot boots for every step you take in stretchy comfort or classic leather stretchy comfort what i don't know i guess that's a type of material it's, it's called stretchy comfort so these boots they all have square toes which is great. They have square, chunky heels as well, and I do like this type of a heel that's like a, what is that? It's a slab, I guess. <laughs> slab heel, I suppose you could say. Whoa, wow, look at these with the alternate color piping on them. We're doing stack wood heels. These feel like work shoes to me. Some sheer elements, some shiny faux, like lizard skin business. 
some low heel shoes if you can't deal with the heels. Loafers. Very dark colors story here. Very heavy, heavy shoes. It is, I know, it's fall, winter, so that's to be expected. Okay, this is getting like monster high. These, whoa, that chunky Mary Jane strap. Oh my God, these ones have like a panel thing with stitching that runs down the front and like flares out at the toe. Wow, nothing like a little mud on your feet. <laughs> I wonder how heavy these were, probably very. Oof. This like go-go girl with these go-go boots and these fishnets and then this little mini zebra print mini dress, mini skirt thing. Soft leather favorites. A lot of these just look kind of slip on little office shoes with a little heel. Yeah, real easy, easy going shoes. Very minimal, very minimalist designs. And then we're getting a little more formal, a little more comp complicated. Still quite minimal, even for a strappy shoe, which you could kind of go crazy with if you wanted to. Very minimal, and only one like metallic option in gold. I guess there's a silver up here. Ooh, this is kind of cool. City, the city heel, in a olive colored like patent leather, and the slab heel is color matched. I kind of like that one. I'm into that. Ooh, and look at these. Smart. They're called Smart. With the gold striping and then the heel has the gold striping around and you can see that it's kind of like, in, I don't know, embedded. Like the gold is kind of inset. There's a little texture edge there. That's fun. <gasps> is that Sybil Shepherd? Is that? Is it? Why is there a picture of her face? Is that her? She looks like, doesn't look like herself, but I think it is her. She must have been like doing easy spirit, like spokes modeling. I can't believe I'm seeing her again. I just saw her in that Martha Stewart <laughs> flip through. I guess she was having a career peak at the time. It is Sybil Shepherd. That is so strange. I really, why is her picture so small? Give me like a, Give me a full body shot of Sybil Shepherd's whole leg stuck in this little red shoe. I want to see that. I want to see which, where she's going with these red shoes. Yeah, I don't want to look at these running shoes. <laughs> these are ugly. Let me uh, scoot forward here. Men's clothes. Oh no. I didn't even get started in the man's clothes. <laughs> oh God. Um, hmm, looks like we're looking at about 230 pages of men's clothes. I'm gonna, I, I know I'm gonna have to revisit this catalog to do the furnishings, home furnishings, and also separately, I think, the bedding and bath stuff, because that's its own whole other thing. And curtains, like there's so many curtains <laughs> in here. So this is, I'm gonna have to revisit uh, this catalog at least a couple of times. Maybe we can breeze, a little breezy breeze through the men's clothing just to get a feel for it. I know it's going to be not very interesting. This wasn't a particularly inspired time for men's fashion, unfortunately. Ugh. 
I will say this model is like really cute. I like this guy that they that they cast here. He's quite attractive. Oh boy. Um, mm, let's get into this his and hers leather <laughs> leather looks. I think we should. I think we should do that. So, his and hers leather vests for motorcycle riding. Okay, and motorcycle jackets. Look at them. <laughs> The chemistry is electric or gas powered. And over here, these two, they look so mean. Wow. That's kind of fun. Like, motorcycle <laughs> romance? <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Are, are, <laughs> oh, are these men actually fun and doing fun stuff? Like, this guy, they gave him some really fun, goofy-ass, like, atmospheric fake weather scenarios to play with while modeling. Rainstorm, newspaper over the head, classic. Fake leaves, it's fall. And then over here, we're getting <laughs> goofy, gumpy, goofy in the rain, splashing in puddles. Men's dress shirts, a very, very, very shiny shirt for men right here with a color matching tie. And a whole bunch of more ugly ties, really ugly ties. <laughs> oh no. Uh, wow, okay. Really big splashy graphic patterns on them. Contrast collar and cuff men's dress shirts. It's just, I kind of like that. And then look at these ties. These are, oh God, these are really something. Um, hmm. Yeah. Sexy time. Silk sleepwear, boxers, pants. Oh, and like a kimono robe. That's hot. I like that. A silk kimono robe for a man. Yeah. Suggestive. Hmm. Could you do it? Could you do a full matching top and pa bottom pajama set with the piping and like the whole like good night moon, like really old and timey <laughs> cartoon pajama moment? I don't know. They're very like shiny. It looks kind of like lightweight. Maybe it'd be fine. I just can't really imagine sleeping with something that has like hard plastic buttons on it. That seems troublesome. This green color is wild. I like that, that, that they picked to feature that one because that's the most outrageous. Oh dear. Men's underpants. Oh. <laughs> Are you okay with this video being really long? Because now I'm like finding the Arizona boy, like teen boy clothes, which I do need to look at these because this is what I wore. This is what I wore <laughs> as a ninth grader. Ah. Uh. Oh my God. Yeah, like these sleeve stripes and stuff and these boring colors and these big jeans. Fake layers, like fake layer shirts that are attached to each other. Oh my god. Cargo pants. This is this shirt is actually cool. I like that it has this contrast like chunk in the arm. And I tell ya, when you're in ninth grade, you want at least I wanted to like turn up in like this, like a leather slide or like a chunky boot. No one was doing that. No one had the bravery to do this. Everyone was wearing horrible, ugly tennis shoes like these. But I want to stomp into school in a mean boot. <laughs> oh my god. Western wear... Why are these guys hot? Oh, they look like DJ. DJ dresses like this. <laughs> I guess that's why I like it. Oh, 
cool. <gasps> Western cut jeans, like cowboy dress jeans with that boot cut. And it's like the like polyester fabric. I like that. Oh, these shirts are nice. These snap front Western shirts. The striped one's really catching my attention. Also this burgundy one. Oh, I love all this. This workwear is where it's at. All that other clothes, the men's clothes, that was like snooze city. This workwear is cool. Yeah, look at these. Traditional Big Mac quality. Chambray and denim long sleeve shirts and they all have like pearl snaps. This stripe one, I love this. With that little Western like uh, pointed detail up at the upper chest and I love this stripe. <laughs> These overalls with like thermal shirts. This is very like um, I don't know. The first scene of a adult movie, maybe. You can imagine what they aren't wearing underneath these overalls. Holy shit. <laughs> Mario and Luigi. Uh, these guys are so cute. Wow. Damn. I love these. I love all this workwear stuff. Work suits, coveralls uniforms like delivery guy uniforms these guys are hot oh my god <laughs> these little shorts and these big boots wow they're really turning it out all of these guys look great should i be wearing like delivery man outfits is that what I, is that is that flattering on everyone or do you just need to be like a huge burly model to pull it off Okay. <laughs> well, I keep trying to end this and I keep not being able to do it. Um, okay. I think we just need to call it. For now, we'll close the, uh, the big book. Well, there you have it. The JCPenney catalog from fall, winter 2001. We will revisit, absolutely will revisit this catalog in coming months to see what else it has to offer, which is very much. <laughs> I love this thing already. It's great. If you like this video, give it a like. It really helps me out if you do. I would love to hear from you in the comments. Let me know if you, were you a JCPenney girly like me? Did you have, is this, was this your department store? Like now or in the past or whenever? You know, I think people are like, have an allegiance to a certain type of department store like Macy's or Sears or JCPenney or whatever. I think it's, you know, it's a JCPenney situation for me. Let me know what you think. Let me know about your department store history. I'll see you all next week with another new video. So until then, take care.